Hi, my name is Miguel from avoiderrors.net. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create roaming profiles on Windows 2003 server. Before we begin, we need to create a shared folder for the roaming profiles. So let's begin. I'm going to create the folder in my computer, Drive D. And I have selected Drive D because this drive is being automatically backed up. I'm going to right click and then click on new folder here I'm going to rename my folder to profiles or you can call it roaming profile you can name this however you want now I'm going to right click and then click properties to share this folder and then click on the sharing tab here mark share this folder and then click on permissions here also mark change and then click apply then click OK click OK and you're done you can also place this folder on Drive C you can place this folder anywhere you like on Windows 2003 server. Now click on start then click administrative tools and here click Active Directory users and computers. You can create a new user if you want or you can apply the settings to a current user. By right clicking on the users folder click on new user and here you can fill in the blanks to create a new user but I have already created a user. Let me look for my user here. Here it is, Yamile. So I'm going to use this user as a roaming profile. I'm going to right click and then click on properties. Here I'm going to click on the profile tab and the profile path is backslash backslash the IP address of the server backslash the profiles folder and the name of the user now I can use the IP address of the server or I can use a server name to find out the IP address of the server and name I'm gonna show you right now to find out the IP just click on run I'm sorry just click start and then click command prompt here type ipconfig and press enter here is the IP address of the server to find out the uh, server name just click on start and then right click my computer then click on properties then click on computer name tab and here is a server name ECG server you don't need all that you just need the ECG server part and then you can copy and paste it there instead of the IP address perfect I'm gonna cancel out of here and here I'm going to apply my settings and then click OK perfect that's it now this user here is on a roaming profile now let's uh, test it on the client computer once you log in using the new username and password or the current username and password for the user it's going to create the roaming profile here it is it's creating the uh, roaming profile settings once it's done you can check to see if the user or client is on a roaming profile. If you're using Windows XP as a client computer, it's exactly the same process that you see here. Click on Start, right click My Computer, then click on Properties, then click Advanced tab, and here under User Profiles, click on Settings, and here it is. The name of the user, and under Status, you see roaming perfect now additionally you can check to see if it has created a folder in the profiles 
by clicking on start on the server then click on my computer and then look for the location of the uh, profiles folder or the roaming profiles that we created and here it will create a folder for the user that is using roaming profile thank you for watching this video my name is Miguel if you have any questions please feel free to post them in the comment section below thank you